Uh, good day viewers, my name is Way Forward. Welcome to my first um, tutorial on H2 database. Uh, what actually brought me to H2 database was um, when I was when I was developing my Java application, I I was using I was using the ZAMP. I believe you all know what the ZAMP is. So this is ZAMP. But I actually have issues with it when I'm about to compile my application, and then I would. I would I won't be able to add my database to my uh, to my application. So that was how I had to find a standalone database that in which I don't need to own any server. Once it is in my system, I I'll just need to make use of it. So first of all, I will need to show you how to download the same database. So the first thing is just search for H2 downloads. So then click on this first um this first headline here. After you click on it, you get to this page. So we have different file in which you want to download. This is the zip file. It contains the jar file and um and all other resources. But what we need mostly is um the binary file. Yeah. So when you click on it, then it starts downloading here. Yeah. I don't really need it. So I already have it on my system. So let me just let me just stop this. So then you can also go to the tutorial, the tutorial section or the documentation anywhere. So you can try to read more about the H2 database. It's a very good database to em to embed into your either your C sharp application or whatever. Okay, let me just say your desktop application. So you can just read on the command line, and funny enough, it uses MySQL. So you can just try to um, get that, and you would easily understand it. So now let's go and open the jar file. I have it here. This is my H2 jar file. So all you need to do is to double click on it, and then you have something like this. So at first it should I uh, should give a default name I don't know this was the last um, data base I created for my application so let me just name this um, with YouTube uh, YouTube so this is the default username and then the password you can leave it blank all you need is just to connect so this is it. So this is where you type the SQL code and then everything appears in this section here. So um, that is all about this tutorial and in the next tutorial I would um, show you how to use the H2 database. Thank you for watching.